this is Ambi from underrockchance.com and welcome back to my NBA betting mall projections and uh, today's picks, uh, Sunday, January 14th. Uh, yesterday I had four qualified bets uh, and uh, all four were winners, so I swept the card. Uh, in terms of closing line value, uh, I went to two yesterday. Uh, the totals are doing pretty well in terms of closing line value numbers. Uh, the spreads are a little bit tricky this season because we have a lot of questionable players, game time decision players, and this is the case as well today with one game. I will comment it. Uh, but uh, so far, 39 37, small loss, but a uh, good positive closing line value number show that um, I, I believe and I hope that uh, I will go back to <coughs> green numbers and make a profit. Anyway, let's go to today's games. We have uh, one, two, three, four, five games. Uh, as you see, I have two qualified bets for now. Uh, so the first game, Indiana against Denver. Uh, based on my projections, there is no value. As you see, I have Denver at minus 10.5, bookmakers 11.5. Uh, so no value because the discrepancy is uh, too close. Uh, then we have Charlotte Hornets against Miami Heat. Based on a spread line, uh, there is not enough value. I have Miami at minus 9.5. Bookmakers minus eight. I also think they have two questionable players. I have them uh, in the in the lineup, uh, and you can also check my player props. Uh, uh, my player props uh, uh, expected points. Uh, I will give you the link here. Uh, underdogchance.com slash NBA props today. I think prop bets today. I, I will put the link here, uh, and you can check uh, on a daily basis. Uh, free uh, player expected points uh, for five players from each team uh, on my website. Uh, and uh, based on my total projections, I have uh, over 223 in this game uh, because my projections show it should be 231.5. Bookmakers have it at 223. So based on these projections, uh, I have small value. And this is first qualified bet. Clippers, Minnesota, Timberwolves. This is interesting game because uh, at this moment, there is only three point difference uh, uh, for this game. As you see, my line is minus one, bookmakers plus two. There is small value with Minnesota, Minnesota Timberwolves. But we have a big question, Anthony Edwards. I don't know if he will, spl he will play. Uh, he's a questionable player. But if he plays, if uh, this will be confirmed and if the lines stays the same, so this line and this line from bookmakers, then we have uh, two qualified bets, uh, Minnesota plus two and over 223. Uh, because with, with him in the lineup, my projected lines, once you put him in the betting model, if you have my betting model, if you downloaded my betting model, and if you uh, follow the instructions, uh, once this information come out, you can put Anthony Edwards in the lineup, okay? And of course, the betting model will show you different numbers, okay? Another numbers. Uh, and uh, I think Minnesota is minus 2.5. I think uh, I already made projections with him in the lineup, and I think they are minus 2 or minus 2.5. Uh, so there is a clear value with Minnesota Timberwolves if they are playing with <clears throat> their full squad. Or full lineup but as i said i'm not sure if this will happen so it is sunday i will not sit whole day in front of my computer so i will spend time with my family uh, uh so but if i will catch uh this uh, information later before i will go sleep and if i can get good line so both criteria must uh, met then i will maybe take uh, minnesota or maybe over in this game and I will not post it here uh, in the YouTube, uh, I, but I will post it on underdogchance.com on my website. So from now on, all additional plays will be posted uh, on my website, uh, underdogchance.com. Uh, and uh, under picks, if you click on picks uh, in the uh, top menu, uh, most uh, additional plays will be there, okay? Usually I share one underdog pick each day uh, from different sports. I try to find one underdog pick, but below that, uh, I will. Uh, uh, from now on, I will uh, add extra plays if I will add something uh, from the video, okay? And this will be uh, under the comment. Uh, then we have Sacramento Kings, Milwaukee Bucks. Uh, 
Based on my projections, Milwaukee should be minus six. They are minus 5.5. No value. The projected total is similar to bookmakers total. And then the last game, Phoenix Suns, Portland. Based on my projections, of course, Portland should be uh, an underdog at home, but I have them at plus 6.5. The question is, if the Andrew Ayton will play this game, I have him in the lineup. I also checked the projections without him. Uh, but there is still some value with Portland, so I would take a chance with Portland plus 11 at home. Uh, they can lose, but uh, I hope they can lose. They lose at, uh, by 10 points or less. Okay, uh, so those are two qualified bets so far. And again, um, I will see what will happen with Minnesota, and this will be posted on my website. Okay, uh, so that's it for me today. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.